Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna have a look at this Suzuki for some common problems on ABS system. These common problems that I'm gonna talk about happen on all different type of cars with ABS system and it is common on Suzuki as well. As you see, ABS module is located right here. In some circumstances, you see the ABS light is on and ABS is not functioning anymore. And when you hook up the scan tool, you read some codes like ABS motor failure or ABS valve error. So on this ABS module, you need to remember that this is the ABS motor. This is the valve body. All the valves are located in here. And this is the control module. So for operating this motor, we have one high amp fuse and for operating all the solenoid valves inside the valve body, we have another high amp fuse, which are normally inside the engine fuse box. I'm gonna show them to you just in a second. So when any of those faults happens, problem could be something external outside of the ABS module or something inside. We have some other videos for ABS module inspection and repair on the channel, even for interior component when you have this kind of fault and i already explained this procedure on some other cars as well but this is specifically for this suzuki to make it easier for you to see what are the procedure to inspect the abs module even before removing it so the reason that we need to perform the inspection externally because we don't want to replace the abs module if problem is external and we don't even want to proceed for dismantling the abs module if problem is on the wiring or on the fuses so that's actually how it works we check everything before removing the components or before proceeding to replace them so in this video i'm going to show you to locate those fuses and later on we're going to get back in here because checking the fuses is not enough after finding and checking the fuses we need to get back in here on the abs connector and i will show you how to check the power supply on the abs module as well and the power supply is not enough we need to check the ground as well because for this motor we have a positive and negative on abs module connector if they are not provided you will have the abs motor failure fault code and this is not going to work anymore and there is normally another ground for abs module and for the valve body that one should be inspected as well so it means in many cases problem is from the fuses or wiring or the connector so we need to know how to proceed for this kind of inspection then if we didn't find the fault we can proceed for the next step which is going to be according to your preference if you want to change it or if you want to inspect it internally So here is the engine fuse box and if I show you the fuse box cap, you see ABS number two and ABS number one over here. So 40 amp ABS number one and 30 amp ABS number two fuses. These two are located just right there. And for finding them, you just need to hold the cap just like this and locate those two at the top, which are gonna be just like right at the end right here. So if I remove the fuses, this is the 30 amp fuse. You can check it visually to make sure it's not blown or you can check it with the multimeter as well. And there is another one right here, which is a 40 amp fuse. So these two fuses are for ABS. So if you have that sort of problems, the first thing that you need to check is to find these fuses right here and check them and if they are broken if they are blown you have to replace them with brand new one i'm going to put them back in right now because i'm going to proceed to check everything on the abs connector if you have found the problem right now from any of those fuses that's okay that's all right you found it you you replace it and you fix the car already but if you haven't found it do not proceed for replacing the abs module i've seen some guys after checking the fuses they proceed for the abs module right away but that's not what we are supposed to do because problem may happen on the wiring or the connector 
So on the connector, as you see, this is the ABS module. For the connector, you see this lock. You need to flip this one downward, but there's just one small lock over here that you need to push it in to release it, and then you can flip it downward. So just like this. And if you push this one downward, just like this, you see connector is gonna come off. All right, and this is the ABS connector. So as I explained earlier at the beginning of the video on this ABS module, we have two power supply, high amp power supply from those fuses, which are going to feed the ABS motor and the valves. And two grounds, one specifically for the ABS motor and the other one for the valve body and the ABS module. So when you look at here, you see some small pins and four big pins. So these four big pins are normally for the power supply from those high amp fuses and for the grounds. I've seen this style on many, many other ABS modules as well. Maybe the configuration of these four pins are gonna be different. Sometimes they are all in one side, but most of the time when you disconnect the connector, you see four bigger pins, which are normally for the ground and those high amp fuses. So it means even if you don't have the wiring diagram, you can actually check the power supply and ground from there. So let's proceed to check the power supply to make sure they are provided up to this point. Then I'm gonna show you how to check the ground. I'm gonna put the multimeter right here so you can see what we are measuring. So between these four pins on this car, these two are the positive, these two are negative. So what I'm gonna do, I put the black end of multimeter on a body ground and the red prop on those pins one by one. As you see, on this one, I'm getting battery voltage. So battery voltage is a little low right now. That's why we are getting 11.69. So there is nothing wrong with the wiring. This is what battery is providing right now. And if I go for the next pin, I'm getting battery voltage again. This confirms that the battery positive is provided on each one of those two pins. So ABS module doesn't have any problem for getting the power supply from those high amp fuses. If you are not getting anything here and fuses are okay, you need to check the wiring in between. It could be somewhere close to the connector, but you need to check the wiring as well. And these two on the other end, they are for the ground. So again, I put the black probe on the ground. And if I check this one, as you see, I have zero resistance and continuity sound. This means that ground is provided on the first pin over there. And if I go for the second one, again, this one on the ground and red one on here, I have continuity and low resistance on the other one. If you got no reading from here or high resistance, it means there is something wrong with the ground on the ABS module. So you need to chase back the ground pins to find the problem. So it may happen as well. What we saw so far was actually a good circumstance for ABS module. If we had any problem in between, our measurement would have been wrong, but it's, it was okay, showing that everything on the connector wiring and the fuses are okay. So in this case, if I have a problem on ABS module and I get this kind of measurement, which shows everything is okay externally, I need to proceed for replacing the ABS module. Of course, workshop manual asks you to replace the ABS module in this case, but we have some videos on the channel that I explain how to inspect everything inside the ABS module as well. You can find the link for those videos in this video description. But what we just measured was actually the most common problems and most of the time you can find it by doing this inspection that I just explained. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic videos.